Dr. Marvin, report to surgery. Dr. Marvin, report to surgery. say accidents have killed almost ten times as many people as all the wars in American history. They say accidents injure over 50 million of us a year. That means everybody gets injured once in about three years. Accidents cost a lot of money too. Ten or eleven billion dollars a year. Something like that. Over sixty dollars for each person in my family. Do accidents just happen? I ought to know the answer. I've seen the results of enough of them. I remember Fred Taylor's case. His wife called him at the office. Told him their baby daughter had a high fever. She begged him to hurry home. Are these flowers for the child? No, she's okay. The flowers are for Fred. He panicked, tripped, fell downstairs and broke his leg. What really caused Fred's accident? I walked a long way thinking about that. The stairs Fred tangled with were just an ordinary flight of stairs. Can't blame them for the accident. It was anxiety for his child that kept his natural safeguards from operating. Automatic things like walking and sitting. Things he did every day without thinking stopped being automatically safe. His signals got mixed up. And we call that an accident. Of course, not every real cause of an accident is as obvious as Fred's fear for his little girl's health. I remember 
Last spring, I had a night call. As I drove to the patient's home, I thought, another accident. What caused this one? What mixed up the safety signals this time? The worried wife took me to her husband. He was a do-it-yourselfer and had cut his finger in his home workshop. I fixed him up and looked around. The house was a mess. The wife was really fat. The kids, well, they sure looked like an epidemic of accidents. I got interested in this family. The way things worked out for them makes me sort of proud of myself. It wasn't easy, because here, in this one family, there were all kinds of reasons. Emotional, physical, social, physiological reasons. The mother. Her overweight condition was the symptom of an emotional problem that she tried to forget by overeating. I finally got her to understand this and was able to help her. She looks and feels fine now. And her husband. That was simple. After I got him to have his eyes checked. He looks at the world a whole lot better with his new glasses. Those kids. No accidents lately. There wasn't anything really wrong with them after mom and dad were taken care of. This is an accident-free family now. So many accidents come from physical disabilities. Poor hearing, poor eyesight, disease, old age and emotional disturbances that made Fred Taylor's signals get crossed up. Like that other patient who almost cut his finger off on his home workshop saw. Same accident as the father who needed glasses, but a different reason. This fella had an argument with his neighbor, made him mad, and another accident. Then there are all those things the experts call physiological factors medicines for hay fever and allergies, tranquilizers, alcohol, too much food. Any one of these can affect the body and mind and cause accidents. So many factors, so many reasons for accidents. Sometimes a physical reason, sometimes an emotional reason, sometimes a combination. We need to study these things. We need a lot more research. There are thousands of facts we've got to learn before we understand how to prevent accidents in a systematic, successful way. Millions of dollars spent in the United States on medical research every year now. Accident prevention has to get its share. We've got to tackle this problem the way polio was tackled, the way heart disease is being tackled. Research, that's the answer to all this needless waste of lives. In the meantime, what about me? I know I sometimes drive too fast. And I take chances. I don't always try to figure out what the other fellow's going to do. I must work harder at this. I must get seat belts for the car. Be twice as safe. And our house. Overloaded wiring. Burned out a fuse last night. Tried to get around with matches. Burned my fingers. Hit my ankle on a chair. Almost set the house on fire. Our medicines at home. 
are they safely out of the kid's reach? When Jimmy asked his mother for the car tonight, was it right to let him have it? He never did get to take that driver training class at school. And he's got a heavy foot on the gas. Dr. Marvin, report to surgery. Dr. Marvin, report to surgery.